What's good, y'all? It's that boy, Easy Millions, and I'm your host of that boy, E T V. He already know, man. We are back on the finals, and we got our midseason update today of 1.60. So I am here to go over these past notes with you. So I'm gonna go over the general gameplay changes and content and bug fixes I feel should be highlighted. But make sure to go down in the description where I'll have the link and check out the full patch notes for yourself, man. But let's get into this, and we start with gadgets as we have the dome shield. The dome shields will now use squad colors if the use enemy squad color setting is enabled. The vanishing bomb, they increase the invisibility interrupt grace period for teammates from 0.65 seconds to 0.8 seconds. They also increase the invisibility interrupt grace period for the player from 0 seconds to 35 seconds. So they are allowing, it looks like they're allowing you to interrupt the invisibility a lot longer to uh, cancel it which is great and they increase the duration of vanishing bomb invisibility on teammates from six seconds from five seconds to six seconds so they did give an increase on the amount of time that your teammates stay invisible but they also increase the grace period for you to interrupt them so that's i think that's a good buff and nerf at the same time now we got the zip line they improve placement validation for zip lines making them easier to deploy so now we should see this a little bit more often and a lot more easier to use. Let's get into the maps. We got Las Vegas and they added some cover to the side of the kitchen trolleys to make them easier to use. They replaced the zip line between Eastwood and Decora with a jump pad. They moved various cover pieces to avoid gaps in cover. And they moved various chairs to make traversal easier, man. So it looks like they're trying to make these maps a lot easier to get around with the zip line buff and with how they're moving around these maps, man. Also, they removed turrets and tripwire maps variant in quick cash, bank it, tournament, and ranked tournament modes while we fix various bugs and reevaluate the gameplay design. So those won't be on Las Vegas for the moment, but they will come back later on. Now, we got Argon Casino, where they remove some of the monitors in the casino, so some doors are easier to see. They added an extra door to make traversal easier, and they updated some vault spawn locations and added cover to some of them, man. So, once again, just for making the maps better for gameplay overall with movement and tactical advantages. Now, we got Eastwood Casino. They updated exit points on various zip lines to make it easier to access rooftops. They added decals to some windows to make the glass more visible. They rearranged the air con units to create more cover on the roof. And they adjusted the position of some cash out locations, man. So once again, just making sure that all the maps are optimal for gameplay, man. You gotta love it. Now, we got Glamora Casino. They remove some chairs so it's easier to jump in and out of the cashier's booth. They remove some of the chairs and railings in the theater to make traversal easier. And various other small fixes and balance tweaks, man. So right along with the other map changes, just making them optimal, bro. You gotta love the devs and what they're trying to do out here, man. Now, we're moving into specializations. We got the mesh shield. The mesh shield will now use... Okay, we already went over that one. So the recon senses added a range limit to recon senses set to 30 meters. Players outside of this range will not be detected. And players detected by recon senses will now see detected warning text on their HUD. On the dev note, recon senses have become much more common in the meta than we intended and can cause confusion for some new players. The reduction in range and the warning given to the detected players will bring the ability's power back in line with other specializations. So there was a huge debate about recon senses and how broken it was. So they have heard us, they've addressed it. Now we gotta see how it works with the new update, baby. Now, we're gonna move over to these gadgets, dog. We got the defibrillators. They fixed an issue where players' statues could not be targeted for revives when laying in foliage. They fixed an issue where player statues could not be targeted for revives when carried. They fixed various issues with placement distances on deployable gadgets. And they fixed an issue where the turret parts could collide with other 
causing strange behavior when placed on barrels, man. So the defibrillator is getting some updates and it looks like they are trying to make it to where you can see things a little bit better. And that's always great to do, man. Always great to see. Now, some game modes. We got general changes in game modes. They added the steal the spotlight event mode. And they added the ability for players to customize their contestant loadout for all weapons, gadgets, and specializations during the match lobby at the start of each match in all game modes. That is dope. We definitely needed that. I don't know why it wasn't like that from the beginning, but hey, they finally added it. Now, for ranked tournament. They lowered the number of rounds required to play ranked tournament from 60 to 45, which is great. The dev note says, with the improvements we've made to fair play and banning, the threshold required to enter ranked tournaments doesn't need to be quite so high, which I agree with. Also, solo bank it. They have disabled the experimental solo bank it mode. So solo bank it is no longer there. Maybe it comes back. I don't know. It has been replaced with the steal the spotlight. So we're going to have to see how that one plays out. Now we go back to some changes here on the maps where we have Monaco. They made they made night and night storm weather conditions slightly lights dark on Monaco for all LEDs. Now I played at a nighttime map the other day, and I mean it was dark as hell, man. So hopefully this fixes that. They also tweaked LOD settings on some trees in Monaco to reduce popping on those settings. So hopefully these night things get changed because again, I don't know if y'all had this problem, but I definitely did on a night map where it was just really, really hard to see, man. So hopefully that this these changes here help that. Now we got some movement changes. They fixed an issue where players could become stuck in encroached spaces. They fixed an issue where players would fail wall jumps if they press and held jump too early in a vault sequence. And they fixed an issue where the player would cancel a slide if aiming down sights was triggered from toggled crouch, man. So just some great changes for movement. We know how important movement is in these games. So always great to see positive changes on movements. And finally, we're going to talk about these weapons where they increase the size of various grenade projectiles to make them easier to see in combat. They fix some issues where AOE damage could be wrongly invalidated, causing no damage to be done. They fixed an exploit where melee weapons could be swung faster than intended. Oh man, that's probably why these melee people were out here destroying folks. And they fixed an issue that prevented C4 and mines from being picked up when placed on the throwable object that had been picked up. So we got some good changes, especially that for the melee. Now, what's kind of weird is, and I'm surprised, is in these patch notes, I don't really see any changes to specific guns like that. But I'm assuming that this patch was more along the lines of trying to get certain things fixed, like with visuals and making sure everything is working perfectly, man. But make sure that y'all go down in the description and check out these patch notes for yourself as there's a lot of stuff that I did not have time to cover. But you can do that, man. But until then, this has been another patch notes videos for the finals. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, become a supporter. And catch me streaming on Facebook Gaming and Twitch at that boy E T V. Hmm. I'm out. Peace.